Hi everybody, I'm back in Vancouver right now after my holiday in Calgary for Christmas. Um, it was so nice to go back and see everybody and um, get to spend some time with my family and my friends and everything that I have there and everything went so well. Like, um, I was mentioning in my last video how I was going to this mass at church for Christmas Eve and how I was kind of nervous about seeing old people from my past there and I didn't even see anybody there. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad but I was like really afraid about going and in the end I was just I was glad I did because like it <laughs> didn't even turn out to be bad at all which is like that's kind of something that I've noticed a lot just like in life in general is that things tend to always seem worse before you actually go through them and then when you do it then it ends up not being so bad. Yeah so that went totally fine and then um, actually I kind of have a funny story from New Year's Eve. Um, so we are going to this pub for New Year's Eve and uh, there's this guy that I've been friends with since I was in grade one or something and um, he said that he wanted to come with us and this was only about half an hour before we were going and I was like oh shit like he doesn't know. Um, what should we do? Then I was just thinking like, hey, well, what, whatever. He'll just see me and then I'll just explain it when he sees me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And I've never come out to anyone before like that. So I was kind of a little bit nervous about it. And he showed up to the pub and we were just hanging out. And then he sat down with his girlfriend and I introduced myself to his girlfriend as Jessica. And then he like turns to me and he looks really confused. And he's like, um, hi, I'm Rob. And I'm just like, she puts his hand out and I shake it. And I'm like, hi, I'm Jessica. And then he's like, um, he's like, you look really familiar. And I'm like, oh really? That's weird. And then he says, what's your last name? And I'm like, um, actually I'm Ian. I transitioned and now I live full time as a girl. And he just like laughs and he's like, huh, you guys are going to be laughing at me about that all night, aren't you? And he's just like, thought, like I thought like, oh, he got it. And then he was just like, okay, whatever. But then a few minutes later, he's like, so what's Ian up to in Vancouver? And I'm like, um, I am Ian. Like that's me. And he's like, he's like, no way. Like, he just like wouldn't even believe it. And like he wanted to see my ID and everything. And like he still wouldn't believe it, even after everyone at the table was telling him that it was me. And he thought I was my sister and stuff. And I was like, why would my sister be hanging out with, with my friends? And this went on for a long time, and he wouldn't believe me. And so then he started asking me questions to try and prove that it was me. And he said, um, he's like, what was my mom's name? And I'm like, um, I don't know, but she was really hot. And then, because we used to always say his mom was really hot. And then after that, he like, he was just like, whoa. <laughs> like, he was like, his mind was blown. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was actually kind of like really good. Like it was a good ex coming out experience to somebody because it's like, obviously I passed really well. If like someone who's known me since I was like five years old, doesn't recognize me and like who's seen me like pretty often or once a year for a long time. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty cool. And what else? I one thing that's in common between most people that I came out to is that they just say that I seem so much happier now and that they're really happy for me just knowing that that I'm so happy with my life right now and that everything's going so well for me. And I just felt so much better being back with them. Being, I just felt so much more comfortable hanging out with them. Because when I was back last Christmas, like, it was, it was like just after I told them that I was going to go full time as a girl and everything. And then obviously, like, it's kind of awkward to bring up. And then I was just like, I just felt weird just hanging out with them. Like, I just felt like I just didn't know how to act really. Like, I just felt like kind of awkward if I was sitting there. Like, what position should I sit in? And like, it's weird, but. This time I was back and I just felt like totally comfortable being myself and it was really nice to be able to be myself around everybody and it was nice getting all these like girl Christmas presents like I got like makeup and stuff in my stocking and I got um, like, a lot of clothes and everything and it was just really nice Christmas and it was good. Well I should get going, I have my little chai latte here that I have to drink so I'll talk to you guys later, okay bye.